Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming, bringing you another regular line video. And in today's video, um, the last couple of videos, uh, I apologize. I might sound a little sick. Uh, I have a stuffy nose. That's really it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the video. In this video, I am going to be discussing my theories about a possible future uh, lawman role. What I think would be in it if there was any, or if there was one. Um, what they could do, um, what type of roles could influence it, uh, such as an outlaw law role, which I discussed previously, um, what type of things it would stop, and how it would differ from the bounty role, and then maybe some cosmetics that could come with it, as well as a horse. So, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, but let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first thing, um, which I said previously, all rolls should be $15, and that includes this one. This roll would be $15, um, and it, it'll it kind of be like the bounty hunting roll, but instead of uh, stopping people who have already done the crime, instead you're gonna stop people in the act. So maybe you have caught wind of, of an assassination, which will be the least paying roll, by the way, or the least paying uh, mission, by the way because you're just killing a bunch of people, you're gonna go there and you're going to try and stop the assassination. And then the medium paying one is stopping a train robbery. So you're gonna run up, you're gonna jump to the train, maybe on your horse, or you're just gonna jump on it normally. Um, then you're going to stop everybody, whether you're gonna hog tie them or kill them. Hog tying them will get you more money. Uh, same as uh, assassinations, hog tying the guy will get you more money. It's just going to be one guy. At most, it will be three. Um, and then you're going to try and get the goods back because one of them will use, or one of them have a 50 or a 25% chance of running away. Um, so you're going to have to get the goods back, and then you're going to have to take them back. Um, the, the next, or the final one, will be a bank robbery. Um, so basically, it'll be in the bank nearest where you have it. So, say you have the Valentine one, you're going to get it at this bank, uh, right there. And you're going to basically do what the, the police do in GTA and make yourself a nuisance for whoever's trying to rob the bank. Um, hog tie them. You're gonna have backup, you're gonna have police uh, with you on most of these, uh, just not the assassination because you don't want all the police there. So you're gonna have, have police with you with the train robbery, you're gonna have police with you with the bank robbery, uh, we're trying to help, uh, but at the same time there's gonna be a little bit of a problem. But they won't shoot once somebody's hogtied, so if somebody's hogtied, they won't shoot them. So you're gonna have to hogtie both of the people um, in order for them not to be shot. But, um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go in there, you're gonna have to basically manage the crowd to make sure neither none of them get shot. Again, it's gonna be, um, for this one, it's gonna be two to three people. Um, so there's gonna be one, say there's gonna be one guy, uh, managing the crowd, you're gonna run in there, tackle them, and haunt them. And then there's gonna be two more, you might knock one out with your gun, and then you might hogtie the other one. Um, so it leaves room for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of choice, I guess, um, of how you're gonna take them down. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to uh, make sure all the money's there, and you're gonna have to pick it up, and you usually take it to the uh, register uh, so that they can deposit it all back. Um, for, for where you're going to be, I know you guys have been probably wondering that. Where you guys are gonna be is you guys are going to take over a sheriff's office, um, which I'm not sure how they would implement it. Maybe you will have to take over somewhere else. But for now, you're gonna take over a sheriff's office, or maybe you'll just take over a hotel. Like, that would be cool too. Just take over one of the hotels in the um, one of the hotel rooms in the hotel, and you can like lay up a planning board and stuff like that. Or not a planning board, but like lay up a mission board on the uh, table, but make it look more um, lawman and official like compared to the bounty hunting. And then you're going to be able to select the missions from off of a 
a um, crime board. Like like you see in all those detective movies, it'll be something like that. And um, based off of that, you'll have your different crimes, uh, your different people to go after. And um, eventually when you go up to level 20, you're going to be stopping outlaw uh, players uh, from the outlaw world that I talked about in a different video. But, um, but uh, for cosmetics, you're going, you can be able to get a little badge for your horse, which I think would kind of be cool. It's kind of like a, a sheriff's badge on your horse for uh, the chest. Um, you might be able to get a special different type of bounty wagon, um, which we, which is a lawman wagon. It's kind of the same, but the difference is uh, you'll be able to carry certain guns and stuff, and if you pick up their guns um, and put them in, they'll have, they'll have to make a different uh, mechanic. Maybe it's uh, hold B or hold circle for PlayStation or hold whatever it is for PC um, to pick it up, and then you'll walk with it like you walk with a... Um, with a crate or something like that and then you'll put it in the uh, wagon and then for all the weapons that you apprehend as well you'll get maybe a little bit more money so maybe the max uh, maybe the max amount of money for bringing them in was $150 but if you bring in both weapons of each one so four weapons total because you'll get the uh, main weapon and then the sidearm which would be the pistol then you can get uh, 200, 225, just not much more money, but a little bit more. I think I actually said it was 150, so maybe you'll get like 170, 175, so like 25 bucks extra at most. Um, but again, for um, cosmetics, because you'll put those in the wagon, and then maybe you can put the uh, little little sheriff or deputy sheriff on your horse that's driving the wagon. But the next cosmetic thing, you can get a lawman outfit. So you can start at the deputy outfit, and then you can go up to the sheriff outfit, and then you can go up to the sandy uh, sheriff outfit, the blue kind of police outfit. But that's after you get the sandy uh, deputy outfit. So you have to get um, both of those. And the sandy uh, sheriff outfit will be the uh, level uh, 15 out or the level 20 uh, unlock because there's gonna be four there's gonna be four uh, unlocks so each one of them will come with every five levels which I think will be cool because a lot of people are uh, out for the deputy and the sheriff outfits so to have one uh, this is the role. I think it's pretty cool. And then the next thing you're gonna have is a type of exclusive um, variant that's only you're only able to get it from the um, from the role, and you're gonna get it at level 10 or at level 12, right after you get the uh, right after you get the sheriff outfit, and you're gonna get a variant of a revolver. Um, which is basically it's painted uh, a type of mods-ish, I guess you could say. Maybe gold, I don't know. But it's painted a little different. Maybe it's kind of like the uh, volcanic pistols and stuff like that. But what it's going to have is, uh, let's just for now say it's kind of like the volcanic pistol variant and the Sloldfield variant. But it's for the Navy Revolver. And uh, it's going to have in bronze. Sheriff Rick, which I think would be pretty cool to have a Sheriff Rick uh, uh, variant pistol that was just like the uh, collectors or bounty hunters. That'd be pretty cool. And, and the fact that it's a Navy Revolver, which in my opinion is the best pistol in the game, I think that'd be pretty cool. How did he hit me? I didn't know he could turn that far. But um, I think that's really it for the video, guys. I covered cosmetics, location, what you're gonna be doing um i think that's really it um, all all you have to do is pay the upfront cost there's no other cost for like say you're gonna buy an assassination or anything you don't have to do that all you have to do is pay the upfront cost 
and cost for any weapons and stuff like that. Um, there will be a new horse. I want. I don't know what Rockstar will do for it, but personally, I would think the best new horse would be a type of war horse, which would have the same stats as the Nor Norflock Roaster. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's basically the best horse that we have in the game so far. It's fast. It's has a good amount of health and stuff like that. I think a war horse with the same amount of stats with that not only will make uh, or not only will inspire other people to get a war horse because it's uh, less scared in gunshots, but also because it's it's a pretty good horse. Um, it has almost full stamina, a, a good amount of health. So I think that a war horse having this amount of stat again will influence people to get a uh, type of war horse. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do like and comment if you really liked it please do subscribe but if you only kind of liked it please do go to a different video and then if you like that one please do subscribe uh, if you didn't like it please do tell me why in the comments down below i'd love your feedback if you have any more ideas for the uh lawman role please do tell me down below i again would love your feedback maybe i'll make a part two for this video um again this is all theories and this is all speculation so all hopes for sure it isn't um oh voice back what um it isn't confirmed um but if you guys do have any ideas for future roles please again do tell me down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one